Roger Federer had tears streaming down his face on Sunday night as he was declared the first man in history to win 20 Grand Slam titles following his win at the Australian Open. The Swiss maestro looked overwhelmed as he kissed the massive silver trophy before holding it up above his head after he knocked out Croatia's Marin Silic in a gripping five set match. Mirka, his wife of nearly nine years, was seen reaching down to him on the ground at Rod Laver Arena as he leaned up to her with an adoring look on his face. Sunday's match was Federer's sixth Australian Open victory, and his 30th ever Grand Slam final. Scroll down for video Federer, his voice cracking with emotion, said I'm so happy, it's unbelievable. It's a long day waiting for the finals. It's easier in the afternoon. I'm happy it's over now but the fairy tale continues for me after the great year I had last year, it's incredible. We had a wonderful time in Australia, we arrived last year, added Federer, referring to his December departure from Europe. Big congratulations to Roger and his team, it's amazing what you do year after year. It was an amazing journey for me to come to the final. I had a slight chance at the beginning of the fifth but Roger played a great set, said Silic. Federer's victory seemed uncertain for a short period on Sunday, when the champion was forced into a fifth set after showing he was human by wavering in the fourth. But he finally saw off the challenge of Silic to win the final 6-2, 6-7, 6-3. 3-6, 6-1 in a tense 3 hours and 3 minutes. There was a feeling it was meant to be when, somewhat controversially, the match was moved indoors due to a day of unusually steamy heat in Melbourne. These were bespoke conditions for him to play what was his 30th Grand Slam final. Federer has now drawn level with Novak Djokovic on six Australian titles. He is also the fourth person in history to hit the 20s in major singles titles. The others being Margaret Court, Serena Williams, and Steffi Groff. The victory means he is also nearly back as world number one, now just 155 points behind Rafael Nadal. Federer's record indoors is such that he will have been pleased to have the roof closed, a decision which was made in the half hour before the match after the mixed doubles final had also been held inside. There was certainly more humidity around and the temperature was baking hot but it did not appear to have exceeded the 40 degree limit. It was in any event, still extremely muggy in the arena with the air conditioning struggling to pump in enough to keep a lid on things. Tennis Australia emphasized that the decision is always ultimately down to the discretion of the referee. Wyan McEwen, who has a meteorologist working with him on site. Silic went in with a 1-8 head-to-head against the Swiss, and he initially looked the shadow of the player who had dismissed Kyle Edmund and the eventually injured Rafael Nadal. Before he knew it, within 17 minutes, he was 4-1 down, having been broken in the very first game when he made a dreadful mess of an overhead. He also appeared to have a problem with his racket string tension, but despite changing his implement could not stop the first set going in 24 minutes. He stepped it up at the start of the second and created two break points at 1 0, but then needed to save two that Federer had at 2 2. By then, Tennis Australia, sensitive to criticism by the likes of the Murray brothers, had put out a statement confirming the high levels of the humidity had exceeded the threshold. As ever, Federer was the crowd favorite, and he had plenty of support as Silic found his length and rhythm more as the match progressed. He missed a backhand on set point at 5-4 but in the tiebreak pulled ahead for 6-4, and on his second set point was the aggressor in the rally, which saw him finish the point with an overhead. He was now transformed, but then without warning played a poor game at 2-3 which saw Federer break to 15 as his tactic of hitting short slices to the backhand began to pay dividends. Having delivered an 18th ace, he held for 5 to 2. A wonderful half volley winner hit on the retreat in that game signaled that he was once again heading into overdrive, 
and he drove home the advantage at the start of the fourth set by breaking immediately. Silic was again put in two minds by a short slice to the backhand off his return and played a tame slice himself into the net on break point. He saved certain defeat by tucking away a forehand when the Swiss had the chance to go 3 to 0 up. That turned out to be significant because at 3 to 2 it was Federer's turn to toss in a lousy game, and he was broken to love as Silic swung away manically from the baseline. At times like this you have to remember that